Well, the St. Louis Blues are celebrating the five year anniversary of their first Stanley Cup championship in franchise history. It's hard to believe. Next week, the Blues are hosting a We Went Blues Day celebration that includes an inaugural trivia night hosted by Blues radio color analyst and NHL alum. You've heard him before. It's Joey Vitale. He joins us now in studio. And Joey, being from St. Louis, you got to call games, your first ever season as a broadcaster for this Stanley Cup winning team. Mm. What was that like for you? <laughs> Tomorrow, thanks. It was it was special for sure. I mean, when you think about you know how it all evolved. I mean, June of 2018, I certainly didn't have a job. I was looking for a gig, and Chris Kerber called me in an interview process. Took all summer long, and out of nowhere, I had no experience, and I started calling games in October of 2018, and. I remember I was very raw and, and learning as I went, uh, of course, being very, very new at it. And I remember the team was not very good. So I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna get one year to kind of get my, my feet wet and maybe we'll be good in a couple of years. And sure enough, in January, this team started to turn it on. And then February and then March, and all of a sudden we're in a playoff spot. And then before you know it, it's one round of two and three, and then you're calling a Stanley Cup final. So I would say my first year, I felt a little raw and inexperienced, but at the same time, I had a wonderful partner in Chris Kerber, John Kelly, Darren Pang, of course, all on my side as well. So it, it was certainly a learning curve, but it was one of those moments where too, you're, you're kind of just learning as you go and you're just taking one day at a time. You're not thinking big picture. And it wasn't until after the championship was over where you're hearing the calls and you're seeing the celebrations and people, the memories of where they were when it all went down, then it kind of, it really clicked then as far as how big of a moment that was for this franchise. And you said you played six years in the NHL, never with the Blues. You went away, played with other NHL teams, but coming back to St. Louis, playing the Blues during your playing career, what was that like to be back home and playing against the Blues? Yeah, it was fun. I mean, listen, when, when you play in the NHL, you get excited about coming home. That's one of those dates you circle on the calendar. I remember one of my first days was uh, we were, I was with the Penguins, we came home, and my parents ended up hosting the entire Penguins team at their home, their, the home they, I grew up in. And we had an Italian dinner, we had meatballs and red wine, and my mom and dad, they didn't, they didn't skimp on the menu. We, we, <laughs> we felt like we gained about six pounds that night at my mom and dad's house. I was nervous about how the game was going to go. We ended up squeaking it away in, in a shootout. Chris Coonan scored the game-winning goal, but you know, growing up here, obviously I went saw games at the old arena on the old barn. Uh, but I played high school championship games. It was the Savage Center at the time. And then coming back and playing the Blues in front of the huge crowd, a wonderful crowd and wonderful fans here in St. Louis was a memory I'll never forget. And, and certainly I had many more after Pittsburgh and then games for the Blues for the Coyotes. So always a pinch yourself moment and always one you circle on the calendar. And it's great to see friends and, and family come around. And I always knew when the game was getting closer because weeks away, friends and family out of, the, out of the woodworks would come and ask for some free tickets. So you try to help them out any way you can. Of and of course, it's a lot of fun. Of course, it's wonderful. Now, mm -hmm. I want to touch on We Went Blues Day really quick. Yeah. I know there's a lot going on. You will be part of Trivia Night. What can fans expect? Oh, man, it's, it's just going to be a wonderful night. You know, I think that for fans, uh, what I want them to know is get excited. You know, find 10 people, go out there, get a table. And, you know, next week we're going to do it. All the details you'll, you'll be obviously explaining. But, you know, the biggest thing is be ready to get a group of people and just have fun. I mean, it's going to be down at the Enterprise Center. There's going to be random alumni showing up, maybe some former current Blues players as well. Uh, Tom Calhoun is going to be reading questions. I'll be there. There's a lot of Stanley Cup stories that are vaulted as of now, but maybe we'll, we'll break out in some kind of behind-the-scenes stories. So drinking, trivia, lots of laughs, rewards, um, you know, just a wonderful, wonderful night of just extravagant fun is what people can expect. So I would say, if anything, uh, get a group of people, get 10, 10 of your buddies or nine of your buddies, including yourself, and, and go get a table and, and look forward to a wonderful night of great stories, uh, wonderful uh, personnel, obviously players and alumni there as well, and, and drinking and having a great old time. Sounds like the perfect way. It's going to be a good night. To celebrate. It's going to be a good night. Here are the details. We went Blues Day is next Wednesday, June 12th. First Alert 4 is partnering with the Blues, so you'll be able to re-watch the clinching game of all four rounds of the 2019 Stanley Cup playoffs throughout the day, starting at 9 a.m. on MyNet, Channel 32, and Charter Spectrum 186. You can also still sign up for Blues Night Trivia by visiting my 
actually you'll visit just stlouisblues.com slash trivia. Joey, thanks so much for joining us in studio. Hey, Tamar, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure, and we'll see you all next week. Get your table. It'll be a lot of fun. Awesome. Thanks, Joey. I still get goosebumps looking at that video. I still do. <laughs> And imagine an Italian dinner at Joey V's house. Um, Who saw that? Nobody saw that coming. Too many meatball stains all over the <laughs> shirts that night. I, I, had a, I had a big bill for a lot of dress shirts I owed some players after that one. I'll bet.